They empty it out. E.J. Smith at the top of your screen. McKee firing down the middle. Almost intercepted. And it is picked off by Max Williams. He's still on his feet. And Williams is finally dragged down at the 35-yard line. Bryson Tremaine stopped him, or he might have scored a touchdown. Who had over 3,000 yards in his career as an Oregon Duck. Now Williams a lot of time, and he's dangerous when he does that. First down into the red zone, and he slides down. Die finds running room and Die gets down to the five. It'll be first and goal. This scoring threat. Offensive lineman, Nelon. Nice job there. Moving fast. Caleb Williams, easy little pitch out there to Lake McCree, and it's a touchdown SC. They've kind of changed because of their skill and who they have at quarterback and receiver. That is a terrific cut from Smith. EJ Smith rumbling his way into USC territory. How do they respond to this adversity? So far, they've looked great. Casey Filkins now in the game at running back with his first carry. Uh, he just thought it would transition well to what he has to work with here on this Stanford roster. This time straight pass. McKee pressured, and he's knocked down Solomon Bird there. EJ's got it again. He's got a first down. He's averaging close to 10 yards a carry in this run pass option scheme that they're unveiling tonight. EJ Smith in the backfield. This will be the 13th play of the drive, and it's fourth and goal. The key slow mesh, little flip, batted into the air. Another interception. It's picked up by Makai Blackman, and Blackman stops the threat. Caillou Blue Kelly is one of the better cover men and cornerbacks in the country, and he wanted his shot to Jordan Addison, and he's running with his back to the play in man coverage, and they throw it underneath to the Stanford transfer, Austin Jones, for a good pickup. Sets up every other aspect of what Lincoln Riley can do. It just opens up his entire playbook. Austin Jones has it again. He knows his way around this field, and he moves into Stanford territory to the 45. Good block up front by the tight end, Malcolm Epps. Bolitnikoff winner, Jordan Addison, wearing number three, Carson Palmer's old number, pulled out of retirement. Instead, he finds a wide open Brendan Rice. We've seen a lot of Emmett Smith's son. Now we get a big play from Jerry Rice's son. And those two guys, Caleb and Lincoln, both say they can finish each other's sentences. Caleb pulls it, gets it to Addison. Addison on his feet, and Jordan Addison will waltz in for a touchdown. His third in a Trojan uniform, 22 yards. More traditional-looking Stanford formation. Full back in, and they'll go on the end around. Urasek getting at the big tight end. is rumbling into the open field. Urasek inside the 20. He gets inside the 10, and the Cardinal threatening again. Third and goal. McKee's got a man out there. It is Smith, and that was easy. Touchdown, Stanford. First two series, it has not worked. They're hoping it would fit into the recruiting profile. Easier to get the edge, guys. He's got a big shot up there. It's Addison again. Can he stay on his feet? He does. Jordan Addison, just like that, beats Caillou Blue Kelly at 75 to the house. Different institutional requirements sometimes limit the ability in the transfer portal and it has for Stanford. And McKee converts that third down with a dart to Elijah Higgins. 21-7. Cardinal had a couple of turnovers, but they've really moved the ball and they're doing it again with E.J. Smith, who is just gashing his way through this Trojan defense. He's a tighten up the edges. McKee pulls it wide. Open man is Ben Urasek, who had the end around run for 50 yards. They really need to keep this alive and try to score the touchdown. They'll try it right now. Back shoulder and the catch by Bryson Tremaine. Third down run with Smith. Smith, oh, the football's loose. Max Williams, who had a pick earlier, knocked it free. Let's see who's on the bottom of that pile. Oh, wow. The third turnover of the night for Stanford, and USC stops him in the red zone. And the second turnover inside the five-yard line for Stanford. He sells this great.
does everything you need. He waits for the hold open, and there he is, right there. Heck of a hit by Max Williams, puts his shoulder pads on the ball. He's speed demon at the running back position. He's out in a route now. Williams going to fire deep, got a man out there. It's Williams, and Williams comes back to the ball and finds it and makes the catch. Boy, these guys. Wow. Back in the red zone, gets it out to Williams quickly. He shakes a tackle. Mario Williams dances into the end zone. Another Trojan touchdown. For the NFL and college and, and fun stories about, about it all. And we worked really hard and we enjoyed each other's company. Uh, and, and we made we made the most of our opportunities, including Tar Vanderveer, one of the great coaches of all time in the sport of basketball, and the worldwide superstar Neko Ugomike, who was my classmate. Uh, and, and it's special to share this night. Tar Vanderveer will win a national championship despite all of the restrictions that Stanford had imposed due to COVID-19. Tanner McKee, and here they are back in the red zone. Herbie, they can hang on to the ball. Get to Smith, he's got an alley, and this time they'll move it and pay it off with the exclamation point and the touchdown. They have it, man, do they ever. Williams pulls it, a little tunnel, there's Addison. Addison has scored a couple of times tonight. He's knocked down, picked up the first down. Look up with these guys in this conference to try to slow this offense down. Kind of looking at the schedule ahead. I don't know if Oregon State can do that, but that'll be a tough trip. There is Lake McCree. He had a touchdown catch in the early going, and he has a first down catch from Williams. They are really in lockstep with how they see things. The game on the inside, and Die is going to waltz his way into the end zone. Five possessions, five touchdowns, 27 yards for Travis Dye. <laughs> they haven't really done a good job taking care of the football. Caleb Williams taking a shot, and Addison is wide open, and he's tracked down by Patrick Fields, but not before another huge pass play for SC. For a nice big gain for SC. 48 yards through in the air, and that time Stephen Heron was there to stop Travis Dye behind the line of scrimmage. Dennis Lynch coming on, a redshirt freshman from Newberry Park. Puts a field goal attempt on the way, and it is good. Good at that. Helping them with it, what they're seeing. Williams. Steps out, still eyes downfield. Now Caleb has a chance to run for the first down, and the flag is going to come for an obvious horse collar tackle. Moves it back into the, now he's got empty. Makes it, again, makes a little adjustment off of that back going out in the, out into the far to the right. Williams. Complete that Jones out of the backfield gets away from a couple of tacklers and he's going to be knocked down really right at the first down mark. He kind of gave that punch sign. Oh, pump and he'll whip it out to die. He's got a lot of running room. Travis die inside the 20 before he's knocked out about. Look at David Shaw. Williams gets it off. Pressure from Bailey. Pressure also from Fields and he. Couldn't get away from the turf after he escaped the two Stanford rushers. Not through another field goal. Reese, remember that name, right? David yeah, Bailey. David Bailey. Wedge sends the field goal on its way, and it is no good. 91 yards on 18 carries so far. McKee almost got hit in the back. He throws a backwards pass to Smith, and there are a lot of Trojans there to stop him. And the ball went on the ground again. SC picks it up, and they take it into the end zone. The previous play is under further review. That left arm. Yeah, arm. If the forearm goes down, he's down. That's if it's down. Yeah, you'll you'll let the play go as a fumble, and then. Um, and then let the replay take a look at it. After review, the ball was fumbled by the offense and recovered by number 14 with his knee down on the ground. The ball will be placed at the 29-yard 29, 29 line. First down, USC. Travis Dye. Still trying to turn ahead. The pile, the pile's still moving. Dies in the midst of that somewhere, and they're still driving him. He gets down to the 26. Okay, the youngster Lynch is one for two on the night, and 
now you can make him two for three. Move the chains, keep that offense on the field. Oh, Ashton Daniels is in at quarterback, and he takes the snap. Good running threat, and he hands it off, and it's a first down for Stanford. Highly touted quarterback prospect. Spent two years on a Mormon mission, sort of finding his way in the second season as a starter for the Cardinal, and Kai Blackman is going to be called for interference against Bryson Tremaine. On second and six. They've scored four defensive touchdowns. It almost starts to become part of your identity and start of a belief that the defense has that, hey, we might give up some yards, but let's squeeze them in the red zone. Let's create turnovers. And to be fair, a lot of them have been fortuitous. There have been some fortunate bounces. Fourth and goal. Cardinal trying to get another one in. Pelkins has it, and he got drilled right at the goal line. Stanford hoping for the touchdown, and their request is answered. Who ended up taking the Georgia Southern job before the season was over last year and got accustomed and maybe having a big moment in Lincoln. What, but what's a big moment for one's a bad moment for another one. I was going to uh, say, Scott uh, Frost if, doesn't, you, if you look on the other side see, of some yeah. of those, like anywhere else with great tradition, they want to win them all. Stephon Gilmore's brother had the clinching play in that game with a pick six. McKee. Completes the pass. Game plan of play action and RPO that's worked for him. Dumps it off underneath. Pilkins has done a nice job. And with Mark Stoops. Mark Stoops underappreciated for the job that he's done at Kentucky. And coming through to get the sack is Shane Lee. Trying for the desperation rally. Or at the very least, some window dressing. McKee puts it up. Flags flying in. And we're going to have another pass interference this time on Sierra Wright. Back-to-back -back P.I.s. Been six of them tonight, Kirk, against the Trojans. And McKee sneaks it forward Thanks after this play. And by the way, this is a fairly sizable play here. Because I know times against Stanford, but they get off the field here, and they may sack Caleb Williams, and they do, and now they can stop the clock with a timeout. You know, because what it means to be a Trojan. Fourth and 13, McKee getting pressured, and down he goes again. Solomon Bird applying pressure. And certainly USC has shown immense firepower tonight. Caleb Williams takes a knee, and that's going to be the final play of the game, a 41-28 road victory for Lincoln Riley and the Trojans. All in all, a, a huge success for Lincoln Riley. First time they've been on the road since he's been the head coach.